So right now, I'm going to show you how to create the particle disintegration effect from the Avengers, from Affinity Wars and Endgame. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Today we're going to do some particle effects from the Avengers. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut out our image. So we're going to grab our quick select tool and then choose select subject. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, just use the quick select brush. Okay, I'm just going to go in here and just select this area. So hit the Alt or the Option key. All right, looking good. All right, let's refine this. Just go into Select and Mask. And what we want to do is just grab that little feathery tool there. And we're just going to go around the edges. So you can see here we need to do a little bit of work. So let's just follow around these edges where they look a little off. And try to keep your cursor about three quarters of the way in. That reflection there is fine. All right, and let's just output to selection. Click OK. So now we've got a, a cutout. So we want to make two copies of this. So let's just Control J twice. So that's Control or Command J to copy it. Control Command J again to copy it again. So let's hide both of these. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the background. So what we want to do now is we want to remove this person from the background. So the way to do that is just Control or Command, click on the thumbnail, load that selection, and we just want to expand the selection. Select, modify, expand, and let's just give it 10 pixels. We just want the selection a little bit bigger than our subject. Make sure we select the right layer. And now we're just going to fill this with Content Aware Fill. Shift Delete. Opens up the Fill dialog box. Choose Content Aware. And there we go. All right, let's prepare these two layers. So we're going to call this one Expand. And the top one we're going to call Contract. So first thing we're going to do with the Expand one is we want to fill up all this area with color. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the, so we're just going to go to Filter Liquify. And let me expand that to fit the full screen. Control zero, we'll fill it up. And we're just going to use this forward warp tool. And we're just going to start to just pull all these areas out. So let's just start by just pulling them out a little bit here. And once you've got that started, we can use a much bigger brush. And let's just go here and just drag all of this out. All right, let's go down, make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's go down here around the arms. And what we're essentially doing is giving ourselves, these are the pixels we're going to work with uh, when we do the actual disintegration particles. And that'll work. So we're just going to click OK. I know it looks really weird. Don't worry about it right now. And what we want to do is we want to hide all of this with a mask. So we're going to hold the Alt or the Option key and create a mask. And that's a black mask. And what it's going to do is it's going to hide all the contents. Now we're going to go to the top layer and we just want to apply a regular layer mask. So we just click on the mask. All right. The next step we need to do is we need to create a brush. So let's just choose File New. Let's just create a new document that we can create this brush on. Let's just go to Film and Video and create an HD one. Just because I can expand that to Control or Command 1, brings it up to 100%. So all we're doing right now is we're going to create our brush and we just want to have a canvas that we can work on. Okay, so let's hit the D key, Reset Foreground Background Colors, and the B key for the brush. Make sure we have a hard edge brush. So let's make sure the hardness is all the way up. And let's turn the size down quite small. Maybe even smaller than that. And what I want to do is I just want to just tap. But before I do, let's go into the brush properties here. I'm going to turn on Shape Dynamics and Control of the Size to Pen Pressure. If you don't have a Wacom tablet like I do, you can just simply adjust the size of the brush before you do this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap once to create a dot. I'm going to tap again a little lighter 
See to create a smaller dot, maybe over there another small dot, and in here another large dot. So all you would need to do without the graphics tablet is just change the size of your brush before you do that. All right, so I'm going to make a selection around here. Make a selection around the brush and let's create our brush. So all we need to do now is just go edit, define brush preset. And we'll call this Avengers. Click OK. Control D to turn off the selection and notice now we're going to paint with exactly that same shape. All right, so we've got the basic brush. Now we want to turn it into our particle effect. So what we're going to do is go up under the brush settings with our brush set here. And we're going to turn on our shape dynamics, scattering. So why don't we start with scattering? We're going to turn both axes on. And as we pull this apart, you'll see what happens here. Now that starts to scatter that brush. That's a good start. I want a little more space in there. So I'm going to go to brush tip shape, increase the spacing. And see now we're starting to get a little bit more spacing. Let's go back to the scattering and turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so we're getting there, but notice all of these are uniform. They all look the same. So let's go to Shape Dynamics. We're going to turn the Size Jitter all the way up. Notice now that's going to change the size. See that? And if I even want to use a pen pressure, if you have a, a walk-on pen, if you go hard, they go larger, go smaller. See how we can kind of do that if we want to create a, a fading effect by changing the pressure. So let's do that. I'm just going to do these a little bit. And we also want to change some things. We're going to do the angle jitter. So the angle is going to change. The size jitter is going to change the size of these. I'm going to go down a little bit and also push up the minimum diameter just a little bit. So now we're going to be getting pretty close to what we want to be working with. You know what? That looks pretty good. See how I can just paint these effects here? All right. That's great. So why don't we just click here? Create new brush preset, and we're going to call this one Avengers Scatter. And we'll capture the brush size. Click OK. All right, so now we've got our brush that we can pull up anytime we want. Let's go back to our image here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go in and just start to eat away at the person where those particles are starting to disintegrate and disappear. So let's go in close. I'm just zooming in. And what I want to do is select our layer mask. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with black. So why don't we have a look and see how that looks. This is kind of good. We've got the small areas there. So let's just kind of start with that. Now let's make the brush bigger. Now we're going to start to really just start to get rid of the edge. So what we're doing right now is we're just eroding the front. And I know I'm getting a little heavy down here, probably not going to do so much of the effect there as we are up here. And if you look at it, the Avengers, usually it happens just on, you know, a forward face and then a certain area just starts to disintegrate first before the whole body turns to dust. All right, that's the first step. Now, if you went too far, you can always go in here and you could use a different uh, brush and just paint with white and just paint back the areas where you felt like you went too far if you want to bring it back. But in this case, we're okay. I'm just going to reduce the size of this a little bit. And why don't we start now? Let's choose the next layer. We're going to grab that black layer mask and now we're going to hit the X key and we're going to flip this around and now we're going to go to white. Now what we want to do is start to show it around here. Now watch what happens as I paint here. See how these areas now are coming back. So I'm painting with the larger pieces right now because I just want to show these large pieces just kind of coming off first. See how it's just kind of lifting off just like on the movie. 
and the larger pieces are going to stay closer to the body. Let's do a little bit coming off here. And see how I've just got some of these coming off a little bit in waves? And let's do the same here. But it's always kind of going up a little bit. So if you saw how it was happening on the movie, it was always just kind of coming up, almost like smoke. Okay, now I'm gonna use a lighter touch, and if you're using a mouse, just hit the left bracket key a couple of times, which I just did anyway, and that gives a smaller one, so we can have some smaller trails here, see that? Just like little, little dust trails just kind of coming off. All right, let's zoom out. And if you look at that, we're getting pretty close to the effect right there. So one of the things you might want to try doing is maybe put it on a different color background. And another way we can do this just to show it a little better is we can just create a new layer here and just fill it with white. And there we go, there's our particle disintegration effect from the Avengers. All right guys, I've got a question for you. Do you like Marvel movies? If so, who is your favorite Marvel superhero and what's your favorite movie? Let us know in the comments underneath. If you like this video, smash the like button, into dust, no pun intended, or maybe it was. And if you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, hit that subscribe button right now and get a new tutorial from me every single week. Also hit that little notification bell so you know whenever I upload that new tutorial, which is usually every Tuesday. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.